Top 10 Worst Cars Ever Cars can be unreliable, ugly, bad to drive or uncomfortable, but sometimes a perfect storm produces one of the worst cars ever. What's the worst car ever sold in the UK? It's a difficult one to judge, because car development has changed so much over the decades. But here at Auto Express we've used the tried and tested, completely unscientific approach to delivering a top 10 worst cars list. That's right, we asked our readers to vote in a poll to determine which cars really are the worst of the worst. In reality, only time can sort the really rubbish cars from the merely mediocre. The standards by which bad cars are judged have changed over the years. There are some cars that seemed moderately okay when they were new, yet are still remembered because in hindsight they are the worst of their era. Other models stood out as being terrible cars right from the get-go, building a worst car reputation that would follow them down the ages like a bad smell. How the worst cars are made These days, car manufacturers spend millions on vehicle research and development to ensure that it's nearly impossible to produce a bad car. Focus groups let firms know what buyers want, and regular planning meetings help to ensure that every department, from engines and chassis to design and marketing, is on message. Once a new car is in development, it will be benchmarked against its key rivals to ensure that it can match and preferably beat what's already being sold. With all of these things in place, a car manufacturer really will have tripped up quite badly if it manages to produce a total dud. However, it hasn't always been like this. In the past, it seemed like some manufacturers had a suck-it-and-see approach to launching a new model. Some cars probably had good feedback when released as a concept, yet the final production model was so badly executed that it destroyed the goodwill of any car buyers who may have been tempted to buy it. Then you have the badge engineered models. Some of these try and add polish to an already aging design with half-baked upgrades, they tend to be prime worst car candidates. And so do efforts where one maker simply takes the fruits of another firm's labors and slaps different badges on it, the end result often falls short of expectations. Finally you have cars that come about as the result of ungodly partnerships between makers that probably seemed like a good idea at the time but clearly weren't. And finally, of course, there was the 70s. Back then, the UK car industry was lucky if it got a whole working week out of its staff, as they regularly stopped short at the factory gates to set up a picket and go on strike instead. And yet the quality of the cars that were built was so poor, it makes you wonder why anybody bothered turning up for work in the first place. Choosing the worst of the worst. Taking all of these worst car categories into account, we picked 18 woeful wonders from the 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s, it seems these decades were ripe for road-going rubbish, and readers voted for the best of the worst in our online poll. Models that just missed the final 10 included crummy convertibles such as the leaky Citroen C3 Pluriel, the creaky Nissan Micra CNC and the pointless Suzuki X90, while the latter also scored a miss for the 4X4 class, alongside the politically incorrect Hummer H2. The sliding door-equipped Peugeot 1007 was shut out of our top 10, while the Lotta Riva, Kia Pride, and Perodua Nippa were all beasts from the East that weren't even bad enough to make the final ranking. Top 10 Worst Cars Ever 1. Riva Giwiz 2. Austin Allegro 3. Chrysler PT Cruiser Convertible 4. Sanji Ongrodias 5. Alfa Romeo Arna 6. Rover City Rover 7. Morris Marina 8. Reliant Robin 9. FSO Polones 10. Vauxhall Frontera 